Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, a brand new journey through the Paldea region. It's the first game in the series to be open world and it's filled with some wonderful features. That's dedication, you just jumped off a cliff to go get the ball, are you serious? But as a shiny hunter, one of my biggest questions was what are shiny hunting methods like? Well, one method that has existed since Diamond and Pearl has gotten quite the upgrade. So let's talk about it and how you can use this to get yourself a shiny early on. The Masuda method is a shiny hunting method where you breed two compatible Pokemon, but each parent is from a different place on Earth. For example, I have my Wooper from North America, and I managed to get a German Ditto from a Link trade. Ditto can breed with pretty much any Pokemon, so getting a foreign one is very useful for this method. But breeding any two compatible Pokemon will work just fine. Usually, you get eggs from the daycare, but the daycare does not exist in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In its place, picnics have a basket where eggs appear on occasion. Why do eggs show up during your picnics? We don't have to think about that. My target was a shiny Paldean Wooper, so to start this hunt, I need to empty my party and only have my Wooper and Ditto. Now you need to set up a picnic. Picnics cannot be done in towns, in the water, Obviously, though, honestly, I would do it if I could. Or on very slanted ground, so keep that in mind when picking a spot. Now that you've started a picnic, eggs will appear randomly over time in the basket. But you can make them appear more frequently with the power of food. Making sandwiches with an egg power of two is ideal for getting more eggs more quickly. My go-to is the Great Sweet Sandwich. The ingredients required to make this sandwich are bananas, apples, cheese, whipped cream, butter, and salt. You can find bananas and apples at Shurkans, and all the rest of the ingredients can be found at Artisan Bakery. You can also get new sandwich recipes, including the great sweet sandwich recipe from this guy at the sandwich shop. If that's too much work to get all the ingredients and make the sandwiches, there's an ice cream vendor in Los Platos, the first town you'll encounter in this game. This vendor sells three different ice cream flavors with the level one egg power. These flavors are mint chocolate, strawberry, and teriyaki. Based on the price, you'll probably want to go with the strawberry ice cream. So with that power going, have a picnic with the two Pokemon and check the basket every so often, and you'll find some eggs. Now one incredible upgrade to breeding is that instead of only getting one egg at a time, the basket can have up to 10 eggs at a time, which makes collecting eggs so much faster. Just be sure to check the basket often. You don't want to miss out on a bunch of eggs just because the basket was already full. Whenever you obtain one of the eggs from the basket, it'll go into your PC box. Now on to the hatching. Hatching Pokemon eggs in this game is actually pretty fast. Possibly the quickest egg hatches in the series thus far. But you can still make them hatch even faster with the help of certain abilities. Flame Body is one that is confirmed to work in these games. Some Pokemon you could get with this ability are Fletchinder, Charcadet, and Larvesta, the latter of which is what I used. Now let's talk about locations to hatch these eggs. Generally speaking, the best places to hatch eggs are in the towns, where there's no risk of running into any Pokemon. But if you insist on adventuring, consider getting a smoke ball for your flame body Pokemon to hold if that Pokemon's level is low. That way you'll never have issues escaping from wild Pokemon battles. My personal favorite locations to hatch eggs are Los Platos, pardon my pronunciation, and Artisan. Los Platos is the first town you get to, so that's very easy, though NPCs will walk in your path at times. Artisan has a nice loop where NPCs don't get in the way, so that's my personal favorite. But in the end, the location doesn't affect the shininess of a Pokemon, so where you hatch them is entirely up to you. With this shiny hunting method, each egg gets 6 shiny rolls. So you have a 6 in 4096, or about 1 in 684 chance of a given egg hatching a shiny. This can be increased to 1 in about 512 if you have the shiny charm. But we'll discuss the shiny charm another time. When I have it. Now let's get to hatching! For whatever reason, unlike previous Pokemon games, when you put 5 eggs in your party all at the same time, they don't immediately hatch one step after the other. There are only a few steps between each egg, but that's something I found pretty interesting. You can also hatch the eggs in really goofy spots. The path I went on in Artisan often resulted in the eggs hatching far away from me, and in flowers or ponds. When the game decides your egg has no place to hatch in the overworld, 
it'll have the typical egg hatching cutscene instead, similar to what you see in Pokemon Sword and Shield. But if you time things in a strange way, you can sometimes hatch your egg underwater, which is pretty funny looking. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, we get to see the bottom of this... <laughs> and eventually, the time will come for your target to shine, and mine hatched after 654 eggs. I need to change the name because I turned off the nicknames. How do I <sighs> change nickname? Okay, here he is. Perry Whoople. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it finally happened! Look at my guy! I finally found a shiny, and it's Perry Whoople! Yes! <laughs> Look at the happy boy! I was starting to think that my game was just cursed and I would never find a shiny on here. But yet, here we are! And it looks so cute! Hello! Ah, oh, it's so cute! And I love the squeaks! Oh, he's so cute! Oh my god! <laughs> what is happening? So there you have it! A guide to getting your target shiny with the help of picnics, sandwiches, and eggs. And now I have my very first shiny in these games. I will have plenty more Pokemon content on here. So if you're interested in finding shiny Pokemon, or you enjoy some fun Pokemon challenges, like this video and feel free to subscribe to join the party! There's a slot for you right here! The giveaway cave will make a return once Pokemon Home is compatible with Scarlet and Violet, but in the meantime I will have plenty of other fun things in store for you guys. Thank you for watching, and stay hydrated!